Hey everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to Hello Monday. I had to create a birthday card recently for my dad and I used a variety of really fun materials and I thought it would be fun to share how I developed these different components. So I'm going to be die cutting through some real wood paper. It's, it's very real wood, um, but it's very thin, a lot like cardstock. And I'm also going to be die cutting with these um, Impression Obsession sunglasses dies through some poly shrink. And poly shrink comes in white, clear, and black. Um, but the benefit of both of these materials is that you can punch through them or die cut through them because they are so thin. You can also hand cut them with your scissors. So I've already die cut my stag here. And just to give him a little bit more support because that real wood paper is quite thin, I'm just going to put some extra cardstock there behind it and let that dry. And then I've taken the poly shrink sunglasses that I die cut and put it into a cardboard lid and then I'm using my heat tool to shrink it. Now you don't want to get so close that you liquefy because the, the heat gun is very hot. You just want that poly shrink die cut to start to curl and shrink and then it will start to flatten out on its own. But that cardboard lid kind of helps keep it from blowing away on me and also the tweezers can be a big help. Um, you do want to be careful though because metal does conduct heat and so your tweezers can get hot if you're not really careful. And then I put a wooden block on top just to make sure it was cooling off and being completely flat. So then I set that aside to continue working on the rest of the card. And I have some scraps of pattern paper. These are from the Second City Basic Gray 6x6 pad by Kelly Perky. And I just thought the colors and the patterns on this would work really well for the design. So I'm creating my own fishtail banner here. And then I'm going to take another piece of that coordinating paper and cut a strip and angle that off to create kind of, uh, it looks like multiple ribbons are being layered together there. And then I'm going to use a piece of Nina Desert Storm, which is really nice toasty craft colored paper. And I'm going to black emboss my happy birthday greeting there with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink and some clear detail embossing powder. So we'll just sprinkle that over the top. Go ahead and heat that with the heat gun till it's nice and melted and smooth and there's no granular spots showing anywhere. And then we'll start assembling the different layers. So I'm going to go ahead and layer those banners there, figure out what the placement is going to be. I've already used this layout before on a Christmas design and it worked so well. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to recycle that layout. <laughs> You don't have to invent the wheel, right, when you make a card every time. So now that I have that uh, secured there to that panel, I'm going to trim off the excess. And I used the tiny attacher. I love those little staples. And just stapled it to that panel. You do have to kind of think ahead when you're going to do this if you want the staples to be concealed um, behind that panel and not show through the entire card front. So I was glad I thought ahead. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and mount that and let the corners in you know, the bottom and the right hand side there of the base card which is just Nina solar white kind of show through there just a different kind of layout and then a little bit of mono multi glue there underneath that banner keep it anchored and I decided I wanted to pop up my stag so I'm just rolling a glue dot off the carrier sheet and rolling it with my fingers to make a little tiny little um, ball of glue dot and then just stick it there in the delicate parts of the stags um, features so that way um, it's not going to show and it's an easy way to get some adhesive on there and give it just a little bit of extra dimension so it's not going to be flush mounted flat and then I decided that my sunglasses I wanted them to be black and I didn't have any black poly shrink when I started this so I took the glasses and put them on a post-it note and then just used a stays on black ink pad to tap against the surface there to tint them black. And then you do need to allow that to dry and stays on is one of the few inks that will dry against a plastic or glossy surface like that. But you do need to give it a little bit of drying time. If you start to reheat it, you could start distorting the poly shrink. So you do need to just kind of let it set aside to dry and then to mount it to my card front. I'm just going to tap the back of it with the brush of the uh, multi-medium matte adhesive. I have the bottle. I couldn't find my little squeezy bottle, so I just grabbed the bigger bottle and just tapped it the back of that piece against that brush tip, and then I could mount it there and just let it set up to dry, and that's going to hold it there. And I thought this turned out really, really hip, swank, and masculine. It's a great birthday card idea for the guys in your life. Thanks for watching.